Gas prices are about 40 cents cheaper than they were a year ago, but lower gas prices are resulting in money-wasting habits at the pump. Are we becoming too complacent now that gas prices are in the $2 per gallon range? Joining me to discuss is Vera Gibbons. Hello. Hi, Vera. How are you? Thank you for coming in today. Thank you for having me. Now, a recent Gas Buddy survey says that people are paying more than they need to at the pump. It's what, ridiculous. What are doing it's wrong? crazy. So 75% of respondents say that they go to a station because it's convenient, either near their home or near their office, or they go to their go-to station because they think it's got the best prices, and that's not always the case. So having a few go-to stations and shopping around. Well, you need to shop around. I mean, different stations have different pricing strategies. They may be running promotions, and our research actually shows that by shopping around in your city, you can save 20 to 30 cents a gallon if not significantly more than that. So just because prices are low, you want to continue to shop around. 20 to 30 cents a gallon, that's huge. That's a lot. That's a lot. And the survey also shows that we're not filling up when we see a good price. I know, isn't that Why crazy? Is that? Because I think we're thinking that the good prices are everywhere. Just because if one price is here, the down the road is going to be the same price. That's not the case. Most of us, in fact, are filling up for other reasons altogether. 38% fill up when we have a quarter tank left. Okay. And, and what about not, nothing? 19% wait for their light to go on. So <laughs> that's dangerous because then you, they, it's, it's bad. Then you end up filling up at the next, next station and it could be an expensive station. So that's a risk you don't want to take. Okay, so procrastination always ups the price. And another mistake, lots of us are filling up with premium. This is interesting. When we don't I need spoke to, be. to people who were doing this and I said, why are you filling with premium if your yeah. car doesn't require it? And they say because prices are low, they want to treat themselves and treat their car to something better, which I think is crazy. Look at your manual, because if it doesn't require premium, if it just recommends it, chances are your car is fine running on the regular stuff. And you should just use the regular stuff. I mean, because even though prices are low, the difference in price between regular and premium has been up, and it's up significantly over the past year. All right, and so for payment at the pump, cash is still king? Cash is king. I mean, most people, according to the survey, are using plastic, but when you use plastic, right, you don't get convenient. the discount. You don't get the discount, though. Some of the stations will offer you, you know, a 10, 15 cent discount if you're paying with cash. So you're right. for forfeiting that altogether. I think using plastic is convenient, yes. So if you are going to use it, just make sure you're using the right card that you're getting a rebate back for your for your pumps. And how do you know what card is the right card? Well, you can research your options on lowcards.com or okay. creditcards.com or cardratings.com. You want to be getting something back for, for your gas, one, two, three percent. And those offers are out there, so I would take advantage of that. Especially when you are at the pump so often. Yes. Road yes. tripping is huge this summer. Road like tripping has been us, big, big this time. summer. It's been big for me too. <laughs> so more mileage for your money. Thank you so much for these tips. Uh, what are some ways you're saving at the pump? Share them with us in the comments below. For Yahoo Finance, I'm Jeannie On.